friends, I am back and I had a request. Somebody wanted me to make a chocolate fudge frosting. And uh, it just so happens to be I'm making a cake today, so I will make a video on doing my frosting. It's real simple. Let me tell you the things you're going to need before I get started here, I guess. One full cup of butter, softened. You're going to need six cups of icing sugar, powdered sugar. You're going to need one and one third cups of nice quality Dutch cocoa. You're going to need about, let's see, two thirds plus maybe a tablespoon full of milk. And then you're going to need a good teaspoon and a half of vanilla. So, with that, we'll get going. I'm just going to put my butter in here, and it's soft. It's not incredibly soft, it's, but it's soft. You don't want to put it in the microwave and melt it, that's for sure. You just want to let it sit out on your counter, get room temperature, and soften on its own. So, with that, I'm just going to put this down there, lock it down, plug it in would help. And I'm just going to mix this until my butter gets light and fluffy. And that will mix for a little bit. I'm going to let it go for a minute or two. You don't want to sit here and listen to this, so I'll be back. Okay, so now that that is light and fluffy, I'm going to start adding my icing sugar to it. I'm only going to do this little bits at a time because I want it incorporated really well. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. We'll get some more in here and then we'll scrape down our sides. This really is quite easy to make, um, and it's, I love the stuff. I use it for decorating, and that's exactly what I'm doing today. I've got to decorate a cake. I'm going to scrape down the sides of this so that it all gets in there, because I don't want nothing missed, and I don't want it all clumped up on the bottom either. it out of my whisk. Okay. Now we can... All righty. Now we can get going. We'll put a little more down in there. It's mixing pretty good. If you mix it like this, you're going to get some nice uh, fluffy air bubbles in there. And it'll make just wonderful for decorating and spreading your frosting and This just takes, it's easy, it's just tedious. That's all. Okay. I'm going to scrape it out of here a little more. Right. 
Nothing worse than mixing something up and having it all stuck to the bottom. I hate that. Okay. All right, now I got it a little bit faster. I'm going to put some more in there. Let's get nice and incorporated. Okay, now I'm going to scrape it down and then put the rest of it in there. There we go. All right. Now while that's like that, we're just going to slip this last little bit right in there. Last nice spoonful. Okay. Get that good and whipped in together. And of course, it's going to look crumbly this stage because you just simply mixed it in with the butter and it's very dry. But that's all right. That is what you want. Okay. <laughs> now we're just going to slowly add the cocoa powder. And then we'll scrape it down again. Get that in there. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to. I'm just scraping that right in there. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna do this real slow. Now I'm slowly going to pour my milk in there. And you'll see how it starts coming together. Yes, it will stick all into your all into your blades or not your blades your uh, whisk beaters all into your beater it will stick all into your beater but not for long so don't worry put the rest of the milk in there I'm going to put about a teaspoon and a half of, one teaspoon, of vanilla in there. 
There's a teaspoon and a half. Lock it down, turn it back on, and let it go for a little bit, and then I'm going to uh, scrape down the sides. So I'll come back when we scrape down the sides. Okay, now we're going to scrape it all down. Make sure it's all in there real good. Yep, it's coming together very nicely. See that? So, scrape it on there, lock it down, turn it back on. And I'm going to let it just whip it. Whip the tar out of it is what I do. So, I'm going to let that whip for a good two to three minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, we're back. And this is done. Beautiful. Look at that beautiful frosting right there. Now, we've got the perfect taste tester. So we're going to take a little piece off here, and we're going to give it to you with the spoon, and you're going to tell us how it tastes. It tastes very good. There you go. And look, at it's nice and fluffy, and you can see the little bubbles in there from the air all whipped into it. It's wonderful, and it is perfect for frosting and decorating. So, there you have it. It's really that easy. Just takes a little time, but it will turn out beautiful. And what do we tell them? Thanks for, for watching. watching. Yep, thanks for watching. So give the frosting a try, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.